Imagine a material so strong, so revolutionary, it could build a bridge not just across a river but from the earth to the moon. A structure defying gravity, anchored by the sheer resilience of its components. Or envision a wire so incredibly tiny that millions upon millions could effortlessly fit on the head of a pin, a testament to miniaturization. Yet, despite its minuscule size, it conducts electricity with a proficiency that surpasses even copper, the industry standard. This isn't science fiction, this is the tangible reality of carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes, often abbreviated as CNTs, are molecules composed of pure carbon, akin to the crystalline structure of diamonds known for their hardness and brilliance, or the layered arrangement of graphite familiar from pencils, but arranged in a configuration that is uniquely their own, giving rise to extraordinary properties. Visualize a single sheet of carbon atoms meticulously arranged in a repeating hexagonal pattern, resembling a honeycomb, then seamlessly rolled to form a perfect continuous cylinder. That, in its essence, is a carbon nanotube, elegant in its simplicity, yet extraordinary in its potential. Their diameter is measured on the nanoscale, in nanometers. That's a billionth of a meter, an almost unfathomably small dimension. To put it in perspective, tens of thousands of these nanotubes could be aligned side by side across the width of a single human hair. Despite their incredibly small size, they possess a tensile strength hundreds of times greater than that of steel, while being approximately six times lighter. This exceptional strength-to-weight ratio is the ultimate dream for engineers and designers, paving the way for groundbreaking innovations and new technologies across various fields. Furthermore, CNTs exhibit exceptional thermal and electrical conductivity properties. Depending on the precise angle and manner in which they are rolled, they can behave as metallic conductors, efficiently transporting electrons, or as semiconductors, materials with conductivity between conductors and insulators, the very backbone of all modern electronic devices. This remarkable dual nature makes them an incredibly versatile material. They hold the potential to revolutionize everything from the speed and efficiency of computers and the capacity and lifespan of energy storage devices to the precision and effectiveness of medical treatments. We are standing at the dawn of a new age of material science, guided and shaped by these incredibly tiny yet immensely powerful structures. The story of carbon nanotubes is only just beginning, and its potential is limitless. The discovery of carbon nanotubes, a revolutionary material with the potential to transform industries, wasn't a single eureka moment, but rather, a gradual unfolding, a journey of curiosity, persistent experimentation, and a touch of serendipitous chance. It was a winding path paved with incremental advancements. In the 1980s, scientists stumbled upon buckyballs, those fascinating soccer ball-shaped carbon molecules, fundamentally showing carbon's surprising versatility and its ability to form unexpected structures. This groundbreaking discovery elegantly set the stage for Sumio Ijima's pivotal breakthrough in 1991. Meticulously using an electron microscope, a powerful tool for nanoscale observation, Ijima painstakingly spotted needle-like, multi-walled cylinders of carbon nestled within the soot generated from an electric arc. These minute structures, observed with such precision, were the first clearly and definitively identified carbon nanotubes. It's worth noting that earlier hints and subtle clues existed in both Soviet and French research, but unfortunately, the necessary tools, advanced techniques, and the broader scientific context weren't quite ready to fully grasp the significance. Science, as a discipline, inherently builds upon itself, and sometimes groundbreaking discoveries must patiently wait for the right moment, the opportune time, to be fully understood and appreciated. Ijima's seminal work ignited a spark fueling global research efforts, effectively turning abstract theory into tangible reality. For years, theoretical physicists had predicted based on complex calculations that rolled-up graphite sheets would possess extraordinary and truly exceptional properties, unlike anything seen before. Now, finally, scientists had a real, tangible material in their hands to meticulously study, a material significantly stronger, remarkably lighter, and exhibiting far greater electrical conductivity than anything previously known to humankind. It was almost as if a mythical substance once confined to the realm of imagination had suddenly and unexpectedly become a tangible reality. And with that realization, the race was officially on, a global endeavor to fully understand and effectively harness the immense power and potential of the carbon nanotube. Indeed, a new and exciting era in material science had definitively begun, 
promising a scientific revolution. So, how do we actually go about making these carbon nanotubes? It's a fascinating process that blends physics, chemistry, and a touch of engineering magic. It's definitely not with tiny robotic hands meticulously placing each atom, but rather by carefully creating the precise environmental conditions that encourage carbon atoms to spontaneously self-assemble into these remarkable structures. We're essentially guiding the natural tendencies of these atoms. One of the classic, and perhaps earliest methods, is called arc discharge. It involves using two graphite rods and generating a powerful electric arc between them. This arc is like a tiny bolt of lightning, which creates extreme heat. This intense heat causes the carbon to vaporize, essentially turning it into a gas. As the vaporized carbon cools, it condenses and forms nanotubes, often mixed in with soot and other carbon byproducts. Another method is laser ablation. Here, a high-powered laser blasts a graphite target that's been mixed with metal catalysts. These catalysts play a crucial role in the nanotube formation. This creates a superheated plume of vaporized material, and as this plume cools down, nanotubes begin to grow, guided by the metal catalysts. But when it comes to large-scale production, chemical vapor deposition, or CVD, is really the key player. It offers the best balance of cost and control. In CVD, we start with a heated substrate, which is essentially a surface that's been carefully coated with tiny metal catalyst particles. Then, this heated substrate is exposed to a carbon-containing gas, like methane or ethylene. The heat causes the gas molecules to break apart, releasing individual carbon atoms that then land on the surface of the metal catalyst particles. From these catalyst particles, nanotubes begin to grow upwards, forming what looks like a tiny forest of carbon. By precisely controlling the temperature within the CVD chamber, the flow rate of the carbon-containing gas, and the type and size of the catalyst particles, we can carefully control the growth process and grow dense forests of aligned nanotubes. Of course, each of these methods has its own set of trade-offs. Arc discharge and laser ablation tend to produce very high-quality nanotubes with fewer defects but they are also quite energy-intensive and expensive to operate. CVD, on the other hand, is much more scalable and versatile making it suitable for large-scale production. This makes CVD the current frontrunner for industrial production of carbon nanotubes. However, the ongoing challenge is to make nanotubes that are consistently highly pure, remarkably uniform in size and structure, and available in the large quantities needed for widespread applications. We're still actively perfecting these manufacturing recipes, constantly tweaking parameters and exploring new techniques, but the progress in this field is incredibly rapid, with new breakthroughs happening all the time. Indeed, the future of advanced manufacturing may very well depend on our ability to master these intricate nanoscale processes. So, from brute force methods like arc discharge to the more refined precision chemistry of CVD, we're steadily learning how to forge these incredible wonders at the atomic scale. The age of carbon nanotubes is truly being built, one carefully placed atom at a time, Carbon nanotubes aren't just scientific marvels, they're already changing the world. Their strength and lightness make them ideal for reinforcing composites in airplanes, cars, and sports equipment. Adding nanotubes means lighter, stronger, and more efficient materials. In electronics, their ability to act as conductors or semiconductors could lead to faster, smaller, and more energy-efficient computer chips. They offer a path beyond the limits of silicon. In energy, nanotubes boost batteries and supercapacitors, enabling faster charging and greater storage. Imagine electric cars that charge in minutes or phones that last for days. In medicine, nanotubes can deliver drugs directly to cancer cells, minimizing side effects. They're also being developed as ultra-sensitive biosensors, detecting diseases early. From energy to health, carbon nanotubes are opening new frontiers. Their impact is only beginning to unfold. If carbon nanotubes are so amazing, why aren't they everywhere? The answer is cost. Making high-quality nanotubes is complex and energy-intensive. Methods like arc discharge and laser ablation require extreme temperatures and specialized equipment. The result, low yields and lots of impurities, like panning for gold in a river of mud. Purifying and sorting nanotubes by type and size is painstaking and expensive. For electronics, uniformity is crucial, adding to the challenge. Production is still small-scale compared to materials like steel or plastic. But costs are dropping as research advances and production scales up. Innovation is making nanotubes more accessible every year. The future promises cheaper, purer nanotubes for all. 
With any powerful new technology, we must consider its environmental impact. Producing nanotubes often requires huge amounts of energy, sometimes from fossil fuels, raising concerns about carbon footprints. Some methods use harsh chemicals or create hazardous byproducts. What happens when nanotubes enter the environment, as dust or particles? Early research suggests their tiny, needle-like shape could pose risks if inhaled, similar to asbestos. Scientists are studying how nanotubes interact with ecosystems and living cells. The goal isn't to halt progress but to guide it responsibly. By understanding risks, we can design safer nanotubes and better containment. Balancing innovation with safety is essential for a sustainable future. Scientists are tackling these challenges head-on, aiming for greener, safer nanotubes. Research focuses on energy-efficient production and new catalysts that work at lower temperatures. Some are exploring using waste carbon, like CO2 or recycled plastics, as raw material. This could turn pollution into high-tech resources. To reduce health risks, nanotubes can be functionalized, their surfaces modified to be safer and even biodegradable. Stronger composites can lock nanotubes in place, preventing environmental release. Recycling methods are being developed to recover nanotubes from old products. The goal, a circular economy where nanotubes are reused, not wasted, Sustainable nanotubes could transform industries without harming the planet. The journey of carbon nanotubes is just beginning. Manufacturing at scale, cheaply and flawlessly, remains a grand challenge. We need to perfect growth and assembly, weaving nanotubes into cables, circuits and new materials. This demands breakthroughs in chemistry, physics and engineering. But the dreams are vast lossless power grids, real-time health sensors, clean water for all and even a space elevator. Carbon nanotubes could reshape our world, not just improve it. Every challenge is matched by a universe of possibilities. The future depends on our creativity and determination. We are only starting to explore this new continent of materials. The age of carbon nanotubes is a gateway to a different kind of future. From the stars to our own hands, carbon is the thread that connects us to the universe. Carbon nanotubes remind us that simple elements can yield extraordinary possibilities. Their story is one of curiosity, ingenuity, and now, responsibility. We must dream boldly, of space elevators and life-saving nanobots, but also act wisely, ensuring safety and sustainability. The power to build a better future is literally in our hands. Even a humble piece of charcoal holds the potential for world-changing technology. The carbon nanotube is more than a molecule, it's a symbol of hidden potential. Our journey into the nano world is just beginning. The universe is waiting for our next discovery. The future is ours to shape.